Hey guys, this is going to be kind of a quick video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom splash screen for BTD5, and I'm pretty sure you can do it for Battles too. So you can do stuff like this. It's a YouTube logo, and that looks awesome. So to do this, we're going to have to change the texture files. So the easiest way is to just get Steam up, and I'm going to do this for BTD5, but you can do it for both games. I'm going to right click on the game, click on properties, then local files, and then we're going to browse the local files. Go to assets, textures, and we're going to do ultra uh, because we're this is a PC mod and ultra is the highest resolution. And then you're just going to scroll down until you see Kiwi Splash. And there it is. So when we open up Kiwi Splash, this is what it looks like, probably looks familiar. If you notice, it's off-centered, it's not totally looking normal. That's because the JET file actually reads the stuff in this picture and then sets it up by itself. We're not going to cover that in this video because that's like complex texture modding at that point. We're going to cover that later on in the series. But to do something super simple and quick, all you do is edit this picture, put whatever you want in there, and then it'll show up. Something I want to show you guys is if you notice there is kiwisplash.png, which is the picture file, and there's kiwisplash.xml, which is basically uh, where these pictures are within this picture. So this is what the kiwisplash.xml looks like. Uh, you can see it's got this glint thing here, which is this. And it's got the Kiwi logo, which is this big thing here. And a Kiwi text, which is the Kiwi text. With more complicated mods, you would want to get the actual like sizes and positions of all that stuff. But we don't really need to do that right now. I will be covering that in a later video. Uh, someone named Arg, he's uh, one of the higher up members of the Discord servers in BTD. Uh, he made a tool that makes it super freaking easy, so you don't have to do any extra work. If you're on battles trying to do this, go to your BTD Battles folder, the same way we did for BTD5. Then go to uh, Assets, Textures, we're going to go to High. And like before, scroll down until you get to Kiwi Splash. Now this one looks a little more crazy. Like I said, uh, the data.jet file basically is going to be positioning all this stuff. But... Since this is a more simple tutorial, we're just going to be editing the text right there because it's already there. We don't have to do anything extra. So I'm in my BTD5 folder. I'm going to copy kiwisplash.png because I'm about to mod it. And I'm going to repaste it again so it gives me a copy. That way, if I want to go back, I have a backup. Now, I'm going to be using GIMP to edit mine. It's a photo, it's a photo editing program similar to Photoshop. Um, so let me get that up. So I've got it up. You can probably use like paint or paint.net. I wouldn't recommend using regular paint because it's got like no features and I don't think it has transparency and we need transparency for this. Paint.net and GIMP are free. If you don't have those software and paint isn't working for you, just go to Google or whatever and just search up GIMP or paint.net. Anyways, uh, what I like about uh, GIMP is I can create layers. So I'm gonna zoom in and I want to cut out the original text without actually deleting it. So that looks good. So I'm just going to press Control X, Control V. You don't have to do this part. This is kind of just a, a me thing. Basically, I, I cut it out of the original picture, but then I, I hit it. So it's still in there. Now we got to add the uh, pictures or text that we want to add to our new uh, splash screen. So I'm going to use a different one than I used originally. Let's grab this blue font here. And I think I just grabbed uh, that one. I don't know, actually, I wasn't paying attention. So we'll have two different sized fonts. Just drag that there. Now you're going to want to like reposition these so they look kind of nice. And something to keep in mind is that um, depending on what you're adding, you will have to edit the jet file. Uh, because if you start adding all kinds of crazy stuff, it's just not going to render the same. Like right now I'm adding text that's basically in the same position the original logo was in. Oof. So it's not really going to like change too much. 
Um, it's not looking totally symmetrical, so I'm gonna just, just a little bit more. Actually, I guess that's good. So, that's what our image looks like. I'm gonna just export this to the same location. Yes, it already exists. I do want to replace. Let's go ahead and export. And let's check this out. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.